Hey yo guys, how's it going? Tally here, and today we are still on our hunt for a Starlight Rare. I'm not gonna do too much talking. If you like it, give it a like. If you love it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. And if you wanna join Team Tally, then hit that subscribe button down below. Now, guys, big thing, big thing, big thing, is if you really wanna help the channel grow as well, make sure to leave a comment about literally anything, even hashtag for the algorithm. Now, let's dive in. I want me a Starlight Rare. Okay, so I have opened a lot of Eternity Code and I am going to open a lot of Eternity Code because I, I like, I know that the, the odds of me pulling a Starlight Rare are ridiculously low, but I think it would just be fun. I think it would be good content and I think I'd rather not buy one. They're very expensive, but I've spent a lot on cards already. Anyway, Code of Breaker, Virus, Berserker, Link Burst, Thunder Dragon Lord, cool looking card. I don't know what this guy is, but it looks cool. Nemesis Flag, Rainbow Zoo, Performer Pal, Turn Trooper, Trias, Hiraka. Sorry, I completely went over, that's our super. So, Eternity Code is turning out to be one of my most favourite sets, just because it has a lot of cool cards and it has a lot of fun cards in it. The cover card, Access Code Talker, is nuts. I'm so glad I managed to pull one of them on a previous box opening on screen now, if you want to watch that. Got some Rincess stuff, some plant stuff, some Ancient Warriors, lovely cool deck, Rose Girl for our super, Bluebeard, Beast, King Beast Barbaros, what a cool retrain of a cool card and some super heavy samurai things. Now, super heavy samurai players, if you're in the chat, make sure to let me know what you think about the support. It's not necessarily like this support, but it's like OCG imports, isn't it? We've got some resonators, torpedo takedown, Goki, Zap Power Load, Ogre, Nemesis, Adristea, Emblem of the Plunder Patrol. That makes my third Emblem of the Plunder Patrol from three boxes in a row. We can definitely, this card isn't even playable right now. We can definitely tell what cards aren't short printed. But Plunder Patrol are a really cool deck, they're really fun, they're not quite where they need to be yet. Hopefully they get a last wave of support in Rise of the Duelist that pushes them into, not maybe like mega competitive territory, but competitive enough territory. Anyway, speaking of competitive enough, let's have a look. Not Division Dragon, that deck's competitive enough. Where's our super? Oh, pl this happened to me twice, right? This doesn't look like a super. This card's foiling isn't great, if I'm honest, like honestly. Honest? Leos. Another Goldilocks, I'm sure this is based on a book, was it not turned into a movie the other, like, year? x Revive Splash, that's a fun one, someone played that on stream and it was cool. Goki Guts, Pirate Ghost Lady, Malice Lady of Lament, Mommy of Lament. Performer Pals, we do love some Performer Pals. And Red Familiar, pretty sure that is a 5Ds character. I haven't actually watched 5Ds, leave down in the comments, should I watch? 5Ds, and if so, sub or dub? The answer is sub, of course. Now, more super heavy samurais, torpedo takedown, nemesis. By the way, man, nemesis are cool. Nemesis, nemesis eyes are really cool. And another deep sea aria, nice. This card's really cool. And Mermail letting you search out those nasty, nasty, nasty deep sea minstrels and deep sea divas, which, by the way, is getting a reprint in the next OTS. Deep Sea Minstrel though, rip a card from your opponent's hand by discarding it and a water monster in Mermail. Disgusting. A really cool card. You go in the cool card pile. Evil Eye Reemergence, Valiant Shark Lancer. I've not ever seen you before. You're quite cool. Let's have a look at you. It's a beast warrior for some reason. So, you can target one monster you control, or your opponent controls, detach one material from an Xyz monster you control, and if you do destroy that monster, that's cool. So, like, it doesn't even detach from itself. And it's a quick effect if you control another Water Xyz monster, i.e. like a Best Dweller. And if another Water Xyz monster you control is destroyed by Battle of Card Effects, well, you control this monster, you can take one spell from your deck and place it on top of your deck. Wow, this thing is nutty. If only it wasn't a rank five. If this was a rank four, it'd be absolutely broken. Put any spell on the top of your deck. So we're one secret down, one ultra down, so we've got another two ultras and a secret. Hopefully, one of those secrets is in fact the Starlight Rare. And again, I say it every time, this card should be, this, this should be Proxy F Hero. I don't even know how we make that work. Red Rain, this card looks cool. Pretty much, wow, banish all monsters in the field if you control a level 8 or higher synchro monster. Nice. Eternity Code's got some nice, nice looking cards. Red Rain being one of them. 
and I'm just trying to get through this as fast as we can. Man, man we've got the playset of this and it's not even like, I'm not building Nemesis this size. Buzzsaw, oh, Lock to your Shadow of the Generator bosses, this card's pretty nifty too, pretty much tutors any of the, the generators, of which I'm pretty sure there's like two or three good ones, but it's an amazing normal summon and I'm pretty sure it's searchable by Condemned Witch or Condemned Maiden, one of those two. I think it's Condemned Maiden, and the Condemned Maiden lore, that's fun, I do love me some lore. Again, Codebreaker Zero Day, Codebreakers are kinda cool, I patched that part of the anime just to skip to the final battle. Witchcrafter Patronus, Expecto, another Deep Sea Minstrel, nice, Expecto Patronus. Expecto me a Starlight Rare. Another Codebreaker. Plant Support, Moving Castle, Link Burst, Armoured Bitron. Funnily enough, Armoured Bitron is an almost always worse than regular Bitron. Regular Bitron has 2k defence, this guy has armour on and he has no defence. Great. Yeah, he's not very good. That's a, It's a real shame. Sadly, we put him in the super pile with the rest of them. Okay, so we're down two ultras, so that's another one or two ultras left, and another secret. Parallel Exceed, this card is nutty, this card's really, really, really good. Evil Eye Reemergence, I'm still surprised, like, Evil Eyes are still getting support, and oh, look, we got the Access Code Talker again. Man, this card is disgusting, right? Let me tell you, if you don't know what Access Code Talker does, essentially, you can't respond to anything it does. Right, if it's Link Summoned, you can target one Link Monster that was used as material for Link Summon, and it gains attack equal to that monster's attack. So, if you're using this, and you've got Link Free in the graveyard that you used for material, you banish that Link Free, and now this has 5k attack. Honestly, absolutely belter of a pull. I'm happy with that. So, that's kind of telling me that this side over here has no secrets, which is uncomfortable. But hopefully, hopefully, we'll have one soon. So for this pack we have Goki the Power Load, Older Code, Breaker, Virus Swordman, Deep Sea Artisan, I don't know what this one does so it's probably not very good, IQ, Gatchari, Attic Nister though, again, um, Attic Nisters could have been really cool, unfortunately they don't have a good going first strategy, they're so reliant on the field spell, and by the way, I don't know if that field spell is still expensive but I hope someone lets me know because that was a killer for the deck. Running through eye contact, how cute is that? I absolutely love eye, favourite character in any, well like he's my favourite non-main character, or non you boy in any yu gi show I think. Necro Crypt Prism, another Parallel Exceed, god damn that card's good. Union Driver, this card's pretty cool as well man. So we're doing alright in a Noct Division Dragon. We're doing alright so far in terms of Ultras and Secrets. Alright, hopefully there's another Ultra or maybe another Secret in here. But if it is one more Secret, I hope it is a Starlight Rare. Oh, for a second I thought that the spell bit on this was Secret Shiny. And I was like so excited and no, it's just Void Apocalypse. Which by the way, Infernoid support. Got to love it, got to love Infernoids, doing things in the graveyard. First deck I wanted to build when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. Turns out you needed free Grasses Greener. Turns out Grasses Greener was like £60 a pop at the time, and not long for the world at that point. So, we've got more Plunder Patrols, more Evil Eyes, Crimson Resonator, another Parallel Exceed, god damn you're cool. We've got a Scriptron, which kinda looks like that dude from Borderlands 3. The little brain bubble dudes. I, no, I don't know what he's based on. I'm sure it's like Mysterion or something. That's a South Park character, isn't it? Now we've got an IQ. Thunder Dragon. Oh god, that looks cool. That needs to be a super. Burning Draw. Always considered a Salomon great card. Looks cool. Its effect isn't great. And this, the third Unchained Twin. So an Unchained Triplet. God damn, that looks cool. If that came in like Ulti, that would look sick. Of course, the TCG only does ultis and OTS packs now, which sucks because um, the OCG doesn't, and they're all beautiful. And I'll, I've actually ordered a couple OCG ultis. Nemesis Corridor, the card that got Colossus banned. Right, guys, we are moving on to the last five packs. Now, my hopes are very, very slim that we're going to get anything. 
but we have done incredibly well for this box. We're doing really well. So hopefully we can top it off with a bit of extra spice and some luck. If not, you know, we've done great. Necro Quiptrism, Marincess, Basilasa Mama, Codebreaker Zero Day, Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol, Ancient Warriors, Ingenious Zhuge Kong. That's a couple letters away from being dirty. Magical Hound, looks like a Salomon Great, honestly, put some fire around that boy. Red Familiar, Lantern Shark, Megalith, uh, Unformed? Yeah, mate. I thought it said Uniformed, and I'm like, what did Megalith swear as a uniform? I imagine that Megaliths wear Hawaiian shirts and beach shorts. Like my friend's band, Mantis Toboggan. Now, Ancient Warrior, Codebreaker, Gokiza Power Load, Ogre, IQ, Dragon Maid, Shiu. Nice, so that's our last Ultra. So, and Splash Mage is pretty cool. Link Burst, Evil Eye, Goki Guts, Flourishing Frolic, Witchcrafter Unveiling, Dang, pretty, there isn't a rank 4 Salmon Great, by the way, that's why I said earlier you can't actually use this. Another Not Division Dragon, cool enough card. Last two packs, let's see if we get anything good. But to be honest, I've got pretty much everything I want from this set. The only thing I really want is a Starlight Rare. I don't care which one, I just want a Starlight Rare. Buzzsaw Shark, Gusari at Ignister Lantern Shark, Red Familiar. I'm going to try and get this one right again. Cataclysmic Circumpolar Chilibania and Pride of the Plunder Patrol. Stairs of Male Xyz Revive, Splash, Codebreaker Zero, Damarincess, Basilas Mama, Area the Water Charmer, Gentle, Pinpoint Dash, Ancient Warriors, Deceptive, Jai Wen, Blue, Beard the Plunder Patrol, Shipwright, and Super Heavy Samurai Swordsmaster Musashi. Sadly, sadly, no Starlight this time, but we did get an Access Code Talker, an absolutely disgusting card, Deep Sea Aria, Emblem of the Plunder Patrol, Union Driver, Lock tier and Shiyu. By the way, this looks awesome. Sadly, it's a Dragon Maid card. Oh well, maybe it has the waifu tax and we've plussed. Anyway guys, the point isn't about plussing. I did this to support my local card shop. Guys, I hope that you do too as much as you can, as long as you can afford it. Okay, I know we are currently in a weird time. If you can afford it, support your locals. If you can't, then there's no shame in that whatsoever at all. So, guys, let's take it to the outro. Guys, that is the video. As always, thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you love it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. Now, if you're new here and you want to join Team Tally, then feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Guys, if you want to catch up with me outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter, an Instagram and a Twitch where I stream pretty much every weekend for the duration of lockdown. And as always, you have been amazing. I have been Tally. I'll catch you all later. Bye.